Okay guys, so I've got my material in a pan right now. And this is an important part. But what I want you to see is how much water I have around this pan. So in this pan, if you look at this, I have about three quarters of an inch is where I like to be. So from the blank out to the water edge, I'm going to have about three quarters of an inch. Now this might be a little bit too much water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inertia of gold. In other words, I always talk about a pickup truck. Slam on your brakes, boom, all the heavy buckets go to the back of your truck. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to use that same theory. So what we're going to do, and I do, this is the way I kind of describe it when I'm teaching this, is we're going to get everything moving down the highway. So I've got all this material moving down the highway. You can see what I'm doing here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something solid here. This hand is not going to move. This hand is going to lock into my body and stay still. You got that? So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get it moving, get it moving. Everything is sloshing around. Everything is sloshing around. And then what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to let it hit my hand here. So you can see how that action is working. The pan is moving. My hand is not. And what you're going to start to see is down in this corner over here is you're going to start to see gold. So right down here you're going to start to see gold. This is the bed of my pickup. This is the back of my truck. Driving down the highway, boom. Driving down the highway, boom. So you understand that. So the heaviest stuff, the heaviest buckets in the back of my truck are slamming up against the cap of my truck. That's what's going to happen here. And you can see what happens when I do this. Now what I do is I sort of tilt my pan away from this. I tilt my pan away from the yellow and I want to sort of flatten up my tilt to take the tilt out of my pan. So again, so let me show you one more time. Let's get this all mixed up in here. Show you one more time. So I'm getting it moving down the highway, moving down the highway, moving down the highway, and then boom, 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 tap. I'm letting it tap my hand. Let it tap my hand. And then guess what shows up? All that gold is down here on the very far corner. So now what I like to do is I just take it and I spread my material. Spread my material. This black sand is going to get in my way because what I want to do is I want to create green space. This is going to be kind of hard to shoot because I've got to get my hand in the way. So I've got to figure out how to shoot this best. All right. So I think we'll be able to see this now. So what I've done here again, let me show you this one more time from this angle. So again, tap, 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 tap. You can see the gold. The gold is down here in this corner. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some space. I'm just going to shake it like that. So I just gave it a little shake and let everything spread out just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Now I've got this space over here. So now I'm going to turn my pan a little bit put water over it, water has to be over it, and I'm going to tap it. And watch what happens to the gold. You can see the gold forming that line now. Again, I want to make some green space. And now you can see I'm isolating this gold over here. So again, I'm going to tap. And you can see what happens. My gold goes up into this corner. I can pull a piece of lead out, pull a piece of lead out, pull the lead out. I always just toss my lead. And once I get it back here in this line, I like to sort of cheat and sort of drag some of it over this way. Then I'm going to spread it again. Maybe wash some material over it. And there we go. And now you can see, and now you can see hopefully that I've got pretty clean material here. But now I've got it all isolated up in this corner. Now it's all isolated up in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, let me get that piece of lead out of there. Pull that out, toss it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my snuffer bottle, put water over it, snuff up that line. Maybe even tap it some. 
Get some of the more of that gold up in that corner. Basically what I'm doing is I'm sucking that back line out. So let's do this one more time. Tap, tap. Same thing will happen. Same thing is going to happen. Same thing is going to happen. And there it is. You can see it. So you can see that see how that gold isolates over in this corner. So the same thing I'm going to do now. So I'm going to tap it. I'm going to get it all up in that corner. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to make some green space. See what I did? I made green space back here. I made space for the gold. Again, if I see any lead, I can pull that out. This lead will mess you up. And now I've isolated again. I've isolated that gold up in that corner. So I get my snuffer bottle. Take it out. And again, I keep doing this and doing this. I probably only have to do this about, I probably only have to do this a couple of times, probably about three or four times. And I'll have almost all my gold out. Just keep tapping and 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 tapping. Again, see a little gold up in the corner. Take it out. And I'll get to the point, I'll get to the point that I'm really clean as far as gold content in here. And you can see that I'm almost down to pure black sand here. A couple pieces of gold, I just have to work a little bit more. But look at that. That's just all black sand in here. It's all black sand, there's no gold up in here. So now, let's take it over to the tray and let's dry it out. It's not going to be 100% clean because normally what I do, so I've got most of my gold out in here now. Normally what I do is I put this in a pan and do that one more time and do a cleaning session on it one more time before I put it to the gold tray. But let's just put it straight in the gold tray and we'll see how much black sand is in there and we'll dry it out real quick. Okay guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, oops, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snuffer bottle, put my finger over it, Shake it, turn it upside down, put it into the tray. Put a pan under it, just like that. So now I've got all the contents of the snuffer bottle into my little stainless steel gold tray. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to dump the water out very slowly. And what I have left is pretty much gold in there. Now I'm going to take this over to the stove top and I'm going to heat it on the stove. Get off any water off the bottom and let's put it on the stove. Okay, how you doing? You can see my reflection. So I'm going to turn the stove top on high. I'm going to turn this burner on high. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this vent fan on too. If there's any mercury, we want any contaminants, we want it. This is an out to exterior drafting unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this. I've got gold from here down, so that's what I'm going to set it on the burner. I'm going to let you watch what happens for a minute. You can see it's starting to smoke, and that smoke is going to go down here out of the vent. All this smoke is drafting out down this vent down here. This side of the tray is going to stay fairly cool. It's going to be warm, but it's not going to be burning hot like this end is down here. If you have a big pile of gold in here, then you're going to need to do this a little bit slower and you're going to need to stir it some, otherwise it'll pop. It'll pop and you'll have gold go everywhere. So I've got that pretty hot. I'm going to take it off. And you can see I'm holding this end of it, and this end is scorching hot. But I can still hold on to this end of it. And what I like to do is now, I want to dry this end off, so I'm going to leave this end on it for a second or two. Just until that water evaporates. And then using 
using a paper towel, because this end is still going to be hot, I move it off the stove. Shut that off. And now, and now I've got my gold. So I've got it with a paper towel, and now I've got the gold in there. It's going to be hot. Make sure that nobody comes into the kitchen. If you're doing this in the kitchen, make sure no one's around. Let this sit and let it cool for probably a good 10 minutes. It's gonna be warm to the touch for a while. But I just let it sit there and cool off. And I'll grab my scale and we'll weigh this and see how much is in it. All right guys, let's see if I can shoot this and do this without spilling it everywhere. All right, so let's turn my scale on. Now this was from I don't know, it was close to four yards of material that we ran. It wasn't very good pay. So I'm set up on grams. Let's leave it on grams for a minute and let me pour this into it. So from my stainless steel tray, I'm gonna pour it in. This is not gonna be like a gold rush pour. It won't take long at all. So let's go ahead and let's just tap her in there and pour it in. And I spilled a little on the side here, but you can see there, that's 1.45 grams. That's pretty good. I'm actually pleased with that. There's probably a little bit of impurities in here on that 1.45, so it might be 1.3. But just over a gram, that's a quarter of a gram. That's a quarter of a gram a yard. That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. For this area, I'm, I'm not unhappy with that at all. Anyways, guys, this is Doc the Gold Hog. I hope this little tip helped you as far as cleaning from concentrates all the way down to pure gold. You can find the multi sluice. Uh, there's a link to multi sluice.com on our website, goldhog.com. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Shoot us an email. Thanks, and we'll catch you later.